Welcome to Skill Header with the second method of integration of MS Access with SQL Server. You can learn the first access database split method by clicking on the description below or finding the eye icon above at the right corner of the video. This method empowers the database with maximum capabilities of data input and retrieval speed and data security. A dedicated server machine can be deployed for more enterprise solutions to interlink SQL tables with the access front end. In this video, we are going to learn how to install SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio, how to create tables in SQL Server, and integrate with the Access database within a network attached to multiple computers. Please comment below, subscribe to the channel, and like and share the video. I will be using SQL Server 2014 Express in this video. However, you can choose the latest version, but the process of installation will be almost the same. The link to download the files from Microsoft is available in the description. I have already downloaded both files. Let's start the new installation of SQL Server first. You can easily install it with the default settings. Here you should have to use the default administrator account and set the password. This is a better security idea if you are using the server in a shared machine environment. Our SQL Server installation has been finished. Now, I am going to install SQL Server Management Studio. Installation has been completed. Now, let's see how to open SQL Server Management Studio and log in. I am using SQL Server authentication which we have given before with an administrator account.
Let's create a new database and a table with some fields like ID, first name, last name, gender, age, address, and amount. There are different data types in SQL to define, but that is not our topic. Now, let's enter some data. The record has been added to the SQL table. Now, moving on to a new Microsoft Access database and see where we can integrate the SQL table with ODBC connection. ODBC means Open Database Connectivity. There is an SQL Server connection that I have made before, so let's learn how to create an ODBC database connection with SQL Server. You can find ODBC data sources in Windows. We should use SQL Server native client to proceed. Please remember that the version can be different according to the version of SQL Server. Let's give the connection a name and use the same SQL Server name to connect with. If the connection is successful, you will find the list of tables and the connection should be established. After the password, you will find the tables to select. Fine, here we have SQL Server connected table with the access database. Let's update a record to see the changes in backend SQL Server. It is updating the data as we expect.
Let's create a demo form to input a record to see the updated status of the record in SQL Server. Great! Our powerful backend SQL Server has been connected with the Access front end. If you have any confusion or query regarding all the entire process, please comment below in the comment box. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to get more latest videos, like and share. See you in the third most demanding video.